United Sports fans. So, next step on the route. Um, I've got some netting to go up. Um, so I'm going to do that today. It's a bit cooler today. Um, not much wind or anything like that. So, should be able to just crack away and get this done. Uh, so I'll show you what I've got. Twenty-six meters of netting, uh, a knife, a pair of scissors, just some bits to help me thread, thread the line, and some spools. I wanna, what I want to do is go round the lifeline, pop, 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 following the loops, uh, and then I've also got some zip ties because uh, I'm going to zip tie to the posts and just save myself a lot of hassle trying to wind the line down and tie it off and it's less likely for the kids to play with and, and things like that so um, I'm going to get started uh, and I'll give you an update uh, very shortly so quick update um, so what I've done so far, so yeah, um, I've put some basic zip ties on first and then I'm going to cordage um, and wrap my cord all the way around, make sure it's all looped and working well, tied on real nice and tight. Um, yeah, it should keep the babies from falling out. <laughs> right, I'll get some more work done. I'll just give you a quick brief down here first. So, So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to come across from here, straight across here, and have a, a net here, save them getting into this area. Um, I'm taking that tip from uh, SV Delos. Um, they've got little Sierra on board, um, which uh, she's about the same age as Bobby. Um, and they have their netting set up that way. Um, so I'm gonna take that tip um, and set ours up the same. Um, so yeah, um, I'll crack on, get some more work done. Um, I'll catch up with you shortly. Yeah, another update. Do, 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 do. We've got this side nearly tied. I've got to go get some more line from the chandlery um, just to tie up these, these rear sections here. Um, keep spinning you around all over the place but hey ho, that's what it is. Uh, so came across one issue I cannot put the net in across the bow here because my anchor locker, the anchor locker opens sideways um, and it's, it, it won't go in there. Uh, so yeah, just gonna have to be very careful. I'm thinking possibly, um, bungeeing some netting across uh, so we can take it down quite quickly um, and then that way you know when, when we're moored up or we're at anchor the kids uh, the kids are safe um, so yeah um, I've got a bit more tying up to do a bit more line work to do um, but it's coming along nicely uh, it's looking pretty even down there and squares, all my squares are squares. Um, 
that's what you want. Um, I just need to tension it up and tighten it off properly. properly. Uh, oh, we've got a plane flying over. Um, but yeah, I'll crack on, get this all cleaned up and sorted out, and then I'll give you a final view. Oh, there's a plane. Nice. Good morning, sports fans. So, um, update on the netting. Uh, I've completed majority of it. I've just got the gates to do. Um, they're going to cause me a bit of uh, a bit of time and, and things to sort that out. I need to find some clips. Um, I've been looking around some of the shops, but I can't seem to find any at the moment. So uh, that's one thing that I need to do. Uh, but I'll just give you a quick view around. Um, so Quite a windy night last night. Um, it's amazing how just having the Genoa up, uh, even though it's covered, um, it does make a difference in the wind uh, to how the boat moves on the dock. Um, so it was a little bit rocky last night. Um, we were peaking out at about 28 knots, um, which isn't nothing serious. You can just feel the movement a lot more in the boat. Um, so today I should have my delivery of my pipe work for the grey water tank. That's one thing that I need to uh, start cracking away on. Uh, I've got a position for it. Um, everything's there, ready to go. I just need the parts really. Um, so. I'll turn you around and I'll show you the Genoa and its UV sack. Found it very easy to put up with the electric winch because I have a little little dongle thing. Um, so I can just stand at the front, feed it through with one hand uh, and then just use the dongle to raise it. Uh, bringing it down is going to be a, a bit a bit more difficult because obviously I need to fold it. Um, but that one's going to stay up there for a while. Um, the plan for this afternoon is I'm getting the other free sails out. Um, we're gonna go up onto the uh, onto the grass area here in the marina, get them laid out, see exactly what state they're in. I know that the solent is, is fine because we had that up the other day. Uh, we popped that up just to to have a check on that one. Um, but the other two, I've got two more cells sat there. I need to find out exactly what they are and what condition they're in. Um, they're not listed on the uh, itinerary uh, that came with the boat. Um, so that's one thing that we will look at and we'll get into. Um, I may take a few few pictures uh, and pop them on, um, but it's getting a bit short to the while for uploading this video, so <coughs> that's where we're at. Uh, it's another beautiful day here in the marina. wind has dropped and it will be dropping again 
throughout the day. Um, we should be looking at about uh, about five knots by about four o'clock. Um, where's the, the panels? Panels are working brilliantly, uh, even with them being positioned as they are. Um, I'm still getting four or five amps out of them during the day. Um, if I turn the battery charger off, yeah, and plus with, with us being here with a bit of a breeze as well, the wind generator adds another two, three amps on top of that, so get a lovely bit of ampage going into the uh, batteries there. proper look around over here but we've got all our repeaters here so we've got depth speed all sorts of jiggery pokery and yep under there we've got a lovely brand new uh, north sails mainsail now with us being this being a, a racing boat to start with all the sails, uh, almost racing sails. Um, I've got a furling um, stay sail that will go where the Starlink is, uh, but because the Starlink's there, uh, I don't want to put it up because uh, I won't have anywhere to put Starlink. Um, so, yeah, we've got our lovely motor. dinghy set at the back there so we're uh, just pricing up a new dinghy at the moment uh, one a bit bigger um, they're not re they're, they're fairly reasonably priced but you know at the moment we're just trying to hold on to the pennies until we're actually on the move um, because things are getting tight um, yeah, uh, it's getting uh, very uh, worrying on whether we'll financially be able to, to make it everywhere that we really wanted to go. Um, but we'll get there, I'm sure we will. Um, this is uh, something that you may not see on, on all yachts. So that is a fully adjustable uh, backstay Dyneema, um, which is absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, it means we can pull that tight and get our, our front and mast all rigged up nice and tight. Um, this is one thing in the future, our running. We do have a mountain on the front here that I'd like to uh, swap it over to and get it out of the cockpit. Um, but at the moment, with it being there, it stops the kids going over that way if we are sailing anyway. So I'm not really, really concerned about getting it moved ASAP. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at. So uh, thank you for watching this episode. Like and subscribe. 